Today, global civilization is facing some big challenges. The climate emergency is becoming ever more serious. The injustices that fueled the Black Lives Matter movement have yet to be addressed. Meanwhile, 850,000 people have died from the effects of COVID-19 and hundreds of thousands more have been left with life-changing injuries. But what does the history of architecture have to do with these contemporary crises? We may not all live in buildings, but we all engage in some kind of built environment. The history of buildings and cities has consequences for the ways in which we live. The cultural, societal and technical fabric of our built environment is the product of centuries of practice and theory. By better understanding the past, you will better understand the future. At Huma, we regard architecture as a global issue. We may be rooted in Northern Sweden, but our outlook is international. The History of Architecture courses support that global perspective, helping you to develop the skills and acquire the knowledge to engage in a critical understanding of the issues at stake in contemporary architectural practice and global culture. This year, we've been obliged to change the way that we teach. So we've spent the last few months researching and planning how we can teach history online. I'm James Benedict Brown, and I'm the course responsible for the History of Architecture courses at UMA. With my colleague Maria Fernanda Hauer in Barcelona, instead of lectures, we'll be delivering shorter, more accessible video chapters for you to watch on UMU Play. We've scheduled independent study time for you to watch these videos however and wherever you like. And if you want to take us with you, you can download the chapters as audio files and listen to them again like a podcast. Through your courses, you will learn how to situate the legacy of architecture and urban movements in contemporary practice. You will learn how to use the cultural and technical vocabulary expected of an architect. You will develop the critical skills to engage with contemporary discourse about the built environment informed by the past. This semester, the history course in UMA 1 will provide you with an introductory vocabulary and understanding of architecture since the Industrial Revolution, exploring the meaning of modernity to our discipline. In UMA 2, you'll build on last year's introduction to modern architecture with a broader historical overview. In UMA 3, you will engage in critical studies of global megacities via a short series of guest lectures from international experts in the historical development of non-European cities. The courses in History of Architecture begin at the end of September in week 40, and we look forward to seeing you then.